Hello, in this video I wanted to uh, clear up, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions uh, in past videos um, and uh, most recently in the video I made uh, talking about streaming um, audio through a iPhone app. I use, I make use of my Dropbox public folder. Um, I actually have in my Dropbox, I came with this public folder account. Now, they don't give that, they haven't been giving that out in a while, a few years now. And so I get a lot of people asking me, hey, I put these files on my Dropbox, how come I can't stream them? Uh, because if you don't have that um, account, which I think they stopped making in 2012, you can't do this. You can't stream the audio. Uh, you can't do any kind of web parsing um, function. Uh, because they don't render as a, uh, web files, which is a different type of rendering than just the share link that you get through a traditional Dropbox. And I've had people say, well, do you recommend that I um, get the, because you, you can pay money and get the special account that has the public folder, but I'm going to tell you no, because if you go to Dropbox, you will see that beginning in March 2017, just a month away, month and a half away, they will be doing away with the public folder for free accounts. Um, and then for business accounts, September, it will uh, no longer render HTML content. Um, so, uh, yeah, you don't want to invest in that, obviously. So I'm going to let you know a good alternative that I've come across that I've started using uh, recently myself, just preparing for this. I mean, I have um, web servers also that I could use, but I'm always looking for that kind of free, quick and easy thing that I could use to throw something up and have it available on the web, um, both for myself and for my viewers to be able to use. And so I've came across um, Amazon's, their AWS um, service and it is uh, it's really good I gotta say I'm impressed with it now it's not as quick and easy as just dropping a file on uh, in a folder on your local hard drive and then it syncs but it's pretty close it's it's not that far off so um, I'm gonna I'll put this address in the description but you just go ahead to um, Amazon's web services and you're gonna click on the free account um, you can log in with your existing Amazon account if you have one. If not, just create a new one. And then uh, once you click on that free account, uh, it'll take you to a contact page. Just put in, put in all your information. Now, it does take payment information, and this is because um, the first 12 months are free. And actually, it should be free after that as well. But I'm not making any guarantees. Now, because if you go over certain um, usage you may get billed. So make sure you check the uh, fine print. Um, but for all intents and purposes, like I don't think I'll ever get billed because um, I don't plan on uh, sending a lot of traffic here or or uploading a ton of um, files as well. You know, I think you get uh, really you get a lot of space that's for free. So just check that though to make sure it'll fit your needs. But um, and for all intents and purposes, I, I don't think I'll ever get billed. Um, but I do recommend you look at the fine print. Don't blame me if you get billed. Um, it's free for the 12 months, though, regardless. And then it asks you to uh, do this identification, verification. You put in your phone number here, and it um, texts you. Actually, it calls you. You put in something, and then it, uh, it'll it say um, verification complete. Um, then they ask you to pick a support plan. You know, I didn't want to pay for anything, so I'm just going with the basic. Um, and then you can sign into your console. And um, there's like a couple of little questions that ask you about what you what it what your main purpose will be on here. And based on that, this that's what shows right here. So I said I was going to do some web um, stuff, and so all web stuff showed here. And the the thing we want to use is this host a static website. If you don't see that here, just click on all services and you'll see it there. Um, and that will take you to a page that looks like this. I already created one, but if you didn't, you just see this button. You click on new website. Um, you give it a name uh, and then uh, 
it'll, it'll come to a page that looks like this where you put in a name. Um, now, you, you're not going to – that name's just like part of the address. You can actually buy a domain name if you want to use this as a, a hosting platform. I, I'm not bothering with that. I'm just using it for testing purposes. And I went with this, just left the default in here, hit create a website. And if you leave that default in there, it actually populates it with some starter code for you. <clears throat> And then when you come to this page, that's the next page you'll, it'll uh, send you to, um, I actually clicked on this Manage Files in Amazon S3. And that took me here where you can see um, all the different files that were initially populated. And um, I should say that uh, you can click on this link here and it will show you uh, your web page. Um, but then you can click on Upload to upload a file. And that takes you to a place where you can drag and drop files and folders. You can draw, drag and drop a whole folder. Then just hit Add, and it'll um, upload them to that web server. Like I add, added this uh, TXT file, and I, if I click on this link, it'll bring me, and that, that's this text file that I used for the latest uh, <clears throat> audio streaming thing that I made. So I could parse this. I could put up audio files and parse them as well. Um, so this is, like I said, a good alternative to your Dropbox public folder. Um, I hope you find this tutorial helpful and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.